Hey guys, DRM here. Good evening, and today we are going to be reviewing another LEGO Super Mario character pack that I forgot. Since I forgot the penguin, Farah, and we're going to make this a Mario week, at least till Thursday. This is going to be four days of LEGO Mario right here. So, what we got, we're going to review all the power-up packs that we missed, which is four. So the next are going to be the Frog Mario and Bee Mario power-up pack reviews. So right now we're going to be reviewing the Tanuki power-up pack. If you haven't seen the first video, go check it out right now. It's about the Penguin Super Mario Power Up Pack. Okay, now we got all that away. Let's jump right into it. So first up, we have uh, Mario here, and this is the actual set right here. And it retails for $10 in the U.S. I don't know how much it does in Canada, but in the U.S. it retails for $10. Um, so what you do, there's like a couple of pieces here, right? And these are like stands to hold up the suit pieces and parts. So what you do is you put, you take off his overalls, Mario's overalls, slip it in here. There you go. He has that little power up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look, the little power up icon right there. Yep, that's the exact power up that we're looking for. And guess what he can do? All right, you need to take off his hat, right? Okay. Put on the new hat. Oh my god. New hat. There you go. It fits. Oh. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah, that's what he can do. He can float up in the air for a short period of time. And just like in Super Mario Bros. 3, it makes that sound. I don't know if you heard it, but that was the sound that he makes, and basically you can have him fly like the, the PA corn, or, or basically you can get unlimited flight with Mario until you hear that screeching brake sound where it does, or something like that. I don't know if you know, but that's not what's advertised on the box. No, 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 no. What's advertised on the box is to spin some enemies out so let's test it out on our trusty goomba friend right here so what you do since it is advertised on the box we're going to show it they didn't advertise that other super cool power up though i like it look go see Yeah, that was the other power-up that wasn't advertised on the box. And I think it's way cooler than this one. In my opinion, no offense, Lego, but I like that one better. But we'll see this one first because this one also I like. Here. Yeah, the tailspin. It somehow reads, look. Alright, that's his tailspin. Then he stomps on the enemy for another coin. Alright, that gives you like one coin, right? But when you do that other one that I just showed you right now, you gain a lot of coins. And that's basically what the Tanuki power-up on Mario can do. Now, I bet you're wondering. I'm sorry, I know that sounds like a commercial, like a total commercial. But I'm not sponsoring for LEGO yet. I want them to sponsor me. So, please do give them a shout because I think... Give them a shout on the, these videos because I think I'm doing a good job at advertising for them. So, move Mario out of the way for a second, right? We got our other friend here. And his name is Luigi, right? Right. Where'd he go? Is he not in the image? There we go. There we go. Alright, so he's right there. And what we're going to do, put the Tanuki hat on him. The Wave 2 and Wave 3 power packs, by the way, are neutral towards the characters. Towards both Mario and Luigi. So, like, it doesn't have a specific M or L on it. It's just like that, you know. Alright, so, you, you said, I bet you're wondering, um, you're like, Luigi, does it work on him or not? And to that, I say yes. Look at the little icon there that he has. It works exactly well on him. I'm not sure about Peach, though, because I don't have Peach yet. 
She arrives on August 1st. That's going to be one of the first sets I'm buying and the first sets I'm reviewing. So stay tuned for that video, guys. Alright, and we're going to demonstrate the exact same thing in case you missed it. Yeah, look, you got a lot of coins from that. All right, and we're gonna test it out on our Goomba friend again. Yeah, the tail spin. There you go. You know where the tail is? It's right here. Boom. All right, and basically, once you're done with the power up pack, you just assemble it quickly on the stand. Put Luigi's pants back on. And he has that. And Mario comes back too for the ending. All right, guys. Our next pack we're reviewing is this frog one right here. It's gonna be the next one. All right. And they're both going to say goodbye because that's it. I don't have the instructions. The box advertises Mario or Luigi, just Mario, because Luigi didn't come out at the time. So it says. Mario can tailspin, but Luigi can do the same thing. And he can do that flying power. I just demonstrate it because you're wondering, you're like, well, Mario, the Mario power pack is going to just be for Mario, not Luigi. So why is this not working? Well, guess what? Luigi can also be used with it too. So all ends well. All ends well, okay? So everybody say, Luigi and Mario, say goodbye to our viewers. Alright, Luigi says bye bye, and Mario says, See you later. Bye guys, and you're out. Until tomorrow.